Hi everybody. Um, so I'm in my seat at the London Coliseum, which is the home of the English National Opera. Now anyone who follows the English National Opera will know that every year, once a year, they present a musical as part of their uh, repertoire. And this year, the, this show, in, the, in the past they've done chess, Sunset Boulevard, uh, all to great acclaim. And this, uh, this year they're doing Man of La Mancha, which is uh, quite an old show, which hasn't been seen in the West End for a lot of years. And um, now we're here today, and um, we're actually quite close, we're in the second row. We've got our day seats. Um, so we've got day seats off the today tickets app for 22 quid, I think. Um, it is quite a pricey PS usually, so where we're sitting normally is like 80 to 100 down here. Um, you can see it's a huge, huge auditorium, and um, obviously it usually does operas. Um, we're, we're crossing our fingers because this is the second preview. Now it should have been the third preview, but they've um, they cancelled this afternoon show due to a power cut. So there's a big pandemonium in the box office with people trying to change tickets from this afternoon to tonight. They couldn't get in this afternoon. Um, so here we are. So it's the Man, Man of La Mancha at the London Coliseum. It's here for six or seven weeks. Um, I'll tell you more about it later. As I say, it's absolutely one of London's most beautiful auditoriums. I don't often film the theatres inside, but this is gorgeous. You can see there's, um, three, there's three balconies, it's obviously a circle, uh, up circle and a balcony. There are some really great deals actually online for the balcony tickets up there. They're a 10 and 15 quid, so if you do want to see it cheap and uh, can't afford the £100 to sit down here, not that we did, but um, you can sit up there for a tenner, pretty good. Hey, so uh, we're back from the London Coliseum, where we, um, I'm sorry, I've just been eating some chocolate, but where, we, um, where we've been to uh, the uh, Man of La Mancha, and I guess the reason I'm, I'm a bit stuttery is because when I, when I started this vlog, I always said that I would always be honest, and on the same hand, I really loathe these... Um, things like message boards and online stuff where people literally hammer every piece of theatre that comes out and hate everything. Um, so I'm trying to choose my words, but in a nutshell, we were immensely disappointed by this production. Um, so you probably saw some of the footage earlier. We had fantastic seats. We had um, day seats um, in the Coliseum, which is wonderful. Now, the show is not without its merits, but firstly, let's talk about the show in, in a nutshell. So the show is a, uh, a obviously a, a Broadway show, made a film of it as well. It's um, one of the, the old-fashioned famous musicals and hasn't been revived in London for the sort of 50-odd years since it was last in London when it was, was the original production. And I think that is with good reason. I, I thought the show was very slow, very tiring, um, I thought it struggled to come across the footlights. Now, I will be honest, it, we did see a preview performance. So I do think there is an element of um, people still finding their feet. So Kelsey Grammer in particular, who I absolutely love and have seen a couple of times in other things and he's been brilliant. I don't, I don't think he fits the shoes of this kind of Don Quixote, gung-ho hero. In fact, he looked downright knackered by the end of it, to a point where with a huge staircase descended from the roof, I did actually have my doubts whether he would manage to get up it. And that's not being unkind, he just looked so tired by the end of it as well. Vocally, he was okay, uh, again, but again, I mean, there's an absolutely, I mean, the show's not without its merits, there was a fantastic... 50 odd piece orchestra in the pit which sounded absolutely divine and beautiful but really you know i was kind of listening to that and the orchestrations above above the vocals um i understand what they were doing with the production and the idea of it being in this prison but to be honest apart from that if somebody told me now to tell them what was happening in the story i would struggle uh to a point where actually there was a row of people behind us that were very verbally kind of what on earth is going on what is happening um they described it not me they described it as pulling teeth um i kind of get it we actually looked at each other in the interval and i, I kind of did, was about to say shall we go because you know i was that unenthralled with it however we we stuck it out 
There were some nice performances. Peter Polycarpu, in particular, did shine through, as with everything he does. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, I thought Danielle Denise was good. I thought her voice was fantastic. However, I thought her character, I, I don't really get what she fe- how she fell into it and how she understood it. And there was an absolutely nonsense scene where she got beaten up and kind of, you know, almost like the rape scene in West Side Story for any reason and all the way home we were thinking well what was that about how did that fit into the story and i really can't see where it fit in as well there is um a famous song in it so people will know the impossible dream so the impossible dream happens at the end of act one that was okay and there's a beautiful choral reprise at the end of act two um which was worth waiting for again now what i got to, got to remember to say here is that so with, with, with the last minute you know um day seat we paid 22 quid was the production worth twenty two quid? Just it was all right. Um, you know, we were we were we were pretty bored in Act Two. The whole thing was very lumbering, very slow. Weirdly, I thought some of it happened in lots of kind of dark areas. There were lights and parts of the stage, but the action was somewhere else. I struggled to hear. We were a row or two back, so that was poor. And and for me, it just fa- failed to have any emotional connection. And I was absolutely gobsmacked when at the end half of the place was on its feet cheering um the guys behind us weren't funnily enough um although interestingly they did say oh we better stand up because everyone else is which does make me wonder about the standing ovation culture that we've seen to have adopted of late in the theater in london um particularly where we we stand up for everything um so so i'm afraid yeah it, it was it was it was not good i thought i thought it was um at best, a two-star production. The guy two seats along from us had paid £121.50 for his ticket. I would be sick as a dog if that was if, if I'd paid that money. Uh, and would I recommend it? I probably wouldn't recommend it. I actually think there's so many more better shows in London. I think um, there are lots of more. If you want to see an old show done well, Fiddler at the Playhouse on the Many A Chocolate Factory is an extraordinary version of, of 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 how you can make an old show polish up new. And funnily enough, I've also been to the tour, the UK tour of Annie this week, which again brings a fresh approach where Marilyn Mancha looks as tired and you know and and old as it did fifty years ago. And I guess in a way, I'm hoping that it's, it's it's another 50 years before we we see it again. I certainly wouldn't probably go and see it. So each to his own. As I say, I I, always, I do consider you know when I call and give these bad reviews, but I kind of feel that you've got to be honest in what you see, and you've got to be just as honest when you see a five star as when you see a one or two star. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. That's Man, Man of La Mancha at the London Coliseum for five weeks um if you do want to go and check it out and see if i was right or wrong go and do so there were plenty of seats available when we went uh, now before the curtain comes down to the day as always please subscribe to the channel lots more to come uh lots more uh, there's, there's an interview coming up there's a couple of uh, rehearsal vlogs coming up and we're going to see some interesting stuff in the next couple of weeks and also in in june a week-long trip to new york where we'll be covering all the shows over there as well Please follow me on social media. So on Twitter, I am Adam Amdram. On Instagram and Facebook, I am Amdram Adam. And as always, a like, a thumbs up and an interaction is something that we, we always love to see. So please do that as well. Subscribe as usual below uh, by hitting the subscribe button. And we all look forward to seeing you on the Isles at the soon, just not at Man of La Mancha. <laughs> see you later. Cheers for now. Bye bye.